Who gives a crap about cosmetic items? The answer is actually a ton of people. The question though, the question is why? What's going on ladies and gentlemen, this is Force and today I'm here to talk with you guys about cosmetics. No, not that kind, but the kind of the video game variety that is oh so prevalent in the free to play games out there. Uh, these items that alter the look of your character but don't affect gameplay. Uh, this, the catalyst for this discussion was the recent uproar that the Reddit Hearthstone community was in over the golden cards in the upcoming Naxxramas expansion. So just so you know, if you don't follow Hearthstone, the golden cards are just basically a visually different version of the standard cards cards in the game, and that's it. It doesn't change gameplay whatsoever, so it is the same equivalent as the cosmetic skins in games like League of Legends or Dota 2 or even, uh, well, pretty much a lot of the free-to-play games have some sort of cosmetic options that you can pay for. So everyone is flipping out because in the upcoming expansion, uh, basically the way you get golden cards is through crafting, and that basically means you have to purchase cards, break them down, and then use that to make these golden cards. But again, no effect on the gameplay. So everyone's just in an uproar about something that doesn't matter in terms of your effectiveness of playing the game. It's just sort of a status thing. It's just a visual thing. And that's what I wanted to talk with you guys about today. From my perspective, I'm just gonna come right out and say it, I have never cared about cosmetics in games. And that's why free-to-play games are perfect for someone like myself, because of these games that make all their money off of selling skins, I'm like, don't care. Uh, <laughs> if that's all you're selling to me, I'm not going to buy it. Now, on the same token, I am 100% behind support and developers, so I always do try to pitch in one way or another. I mean, in Hearthstone alone, I've spent over $250. That's not an exaggeration. That's how much I've spent on packs. And in all the free-to-play games, I typically buy some sort of a thing, but the cosmetic aspect of it, I've never, ever cared about. And I want to know why you think so many people care and why pe so many people are ma so care so much that they're mad that you have to buy these things that that in the scheme of things when it comes to the game play does not matter it only matters because they feel it matters they, they think it matters that's the only reason it matters it matters because it matters to them it doesn't matter because it's going to enhance their gameplay it just I, I, I believe it's just a status thing, right? They just want to show, hey, look at this thing that I have that you might not. Um, but in my perception on that has always also been, and I'm not, this isn't meant as an attack to people who do care about these. I'm just sharing my perspective. Please share yours as well. My, my perception of that, that, that has been, every time I see a cosmetic item that is only purchasable, I always look at it and go, okay, so you spent money on that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's never been like, oh wow, look at that awesome thing. Because all I I know that the only thing separating me not having it from them having it is that they managed to throw some money at the game. And once more, supporting developers is something you should do. You should throw money at the game. But one of the things that is coming out of this, and one of the reasons I wanted to bring this up as well, is it seems like there's just a lot of people who want to play these games without spending any money. And the notion that they have to invest to get these golden cards or to get these skins in a MOBA, uh, the notion that they have to invest any money is upsetting to them because they want to continue to play this game for free. And I, I do scratch my head sometimes and I wonder how many people that are complaining about having to spend money to get these cosmetic items, to get these cards that frankly don't matter, uh, how many of them have played hundreds of hours without spending a dime? I'd be willing to wager a bet that there's a good portion of the people who are vocally complaining about that. Again, the flip side, I have spent a crap ton of money on this game. A crap ton. But I don't care that if they want to lock golden cards behind a paywall, pfft, go ahead. I'm not spending money on that. The only thing I'll spend money on is to unlock more cards that's actually useful in deck construction. Something that's actually pertinent to excelling in the gameplay and being able to make all the decks that you want to be able to make. So that is simply my perspective, and again, this is not meant as an attack on people who do care about this thing, but it's more to open up the dialogue. I want to hear your side of the coin here. I want to know how, why you feel it matters, and, and what you think, how you think it should be approached. And are you one of those people, if you're someone who is upset about the fact that you have to pay essentially to get, to, to get these golden cards, to craft these golden cards, you're gonna likely have to spend money to disenchant extras and then and, and create these. Uh, how, how, how often do you think you should pay? How much do you think you should pay for this free to play game? How much have you paid? 
And I, I, you know, there's, there's of course varying degrees. I'm sure there's some people who are upset who have also spent a lot of money. And I would I'd like to know your side of the story. But me, myself, don't care, doesn't matter. And I'm really sort of baffled that people are so upset and the notion of having to spend money on, again, something that doesn't matter when it comes to the gameplay. Not that if it, it can matter to you personally, but when it comes to the gameplay, something that doesn't matter, people are so upset that they might have to spend money to get this thing. I, it just confuses me. So please, enlighten me. That's Life's about learning. I'm here to learn. And uh, hopefully we have a good discussion, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and yeah, stay tuned for more great gaming coverage here on the channel. Hope you have a fantastic day. Keep watching, and keep owning.